Hey, hello there. Welcome to Ardy World's YouTube channel. My name is Sean Ryan and I love gardening. It is my passion. It is my hobby. And I've gardened since I was a child and I've presented many of the gardening shows on Ardy World. I also run a garden club. I'm the chairman. Sounds very posh, but um, I do love gardening. And I believe gardening's for everybody. And even if you've got the smallest space, a backyard, a balcony, you can do wonders nowadays. And this year, one thing that I'm really passionate about is growing your own fruit and veg. Prices are really expensive in the supermarkets. Um, to me, it makes no sense shipping fruit and veg across the world. It's not great for the environment. So I want to encourage everybody to grow their own and we're gonna make it really easy. So what I've done is I've, I've picked four varieties of fruit that I grow myself that are really easy, that take up the smallest amount of space. So as I say, even if you've got a little balcony, watch this, because we're gonna start with this fabulous blackberry cascade. Now, when you think of blackberries, you think of these big unwieldy things, you think of thorns, you think of getting uh, you know, <laughs> cuts and grazes, but this lovely variety has actually been grown for pots and hanging baskets. Um, it's often termed as the hanging basket blackberry, and it's thornless, it's really attractive. I mean, you can, I think that's beautiful, don't you? And you can grow these in hanging baskets or pots. Um, the berries are delicious. Uh, this is gonna, first of all, flower, and you get these, these beautiful flowers. They're white flowers with a touch of pink. And a large basket can actually yield over a kilo of blackberries. So when you work out the cost and the savings that you're gonna make for many, many years, it's fabulous, isn't it? And they are completely thornless. So don't think you know, you're know you gonna get lots of cuts and grades or anything like that, they're completely thornless. So even if you just wanna make up a hanging basket this year, a little pot, they are gonna be superb. Now, I went to America many years ago and I remember having my first blueberry muffin and it was delicious, it was in heaven. Um, blueberries are a fantastic fruit and we have got now, I think one of the most decorative blueberry bushes that you are ever, ever gonna see. Now, this is actually called the berry box and it's a little bit like a box actually. So it grows in these lovely kind of mounds and you get these incredible white flowers. I mean, look at that, there's hundreds on there and every one of those white flowers, if pollinated, has the chance of becoming a delicious blueberry. Uh, again, you can grow these in pots. They flower from April to May. You're gonna get the fruit round about June to August. They do like full sun and they are totally hardy, but they are, are absolutely ideal for pots. So one thing I will say about blueberries, they do like an acid soil. So if you have got these in pots, then you would need to use an ericaceous compost and you will find those on the ideal website and of course uh, you will find these gorgeous gorgeous blueberry bushes but they're really decorative so they look really pretty they will lose the leaves in autumn uh, they'll go red and then obviously fall off but they will come back year after year after year and produce kilos of delicious blueberries and as many of you know um, when you eat fruits particularly the dark-skinned fruits they are full of antioxidants. They're really, I think they're lovely. And so you can even have those in the smallest of garden. Now, something that I've been growing up, this is, I, I, I got this from a garden this morning, first thing this morning. Um, this is a honeyberry. Now it's brand new to the UK and it's actually from the honeysuckle family. Uh, you probably noticed that from the leaves. Now, this is my first year and I've only had a few berries, but there's one left. So I'm just gonna bring this, I only spotted the last one this morning. Honestly, these are absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna pick the last one, okay? Can you see it there? I've only got one left, look. There it is, there it is. So it looks a little bit like um, a blueberry, but I think it's far more tasty. And there it is, <laughs> that's my last one. I'm gonna eat it and I'm just gonna describe the flavor because seriously, it is delicious. They are amazing. And again, really, really high in antioxidants. Now, it's actually from the honeysuckle family and all honeysuckles will flower and produce fruit, but a lot are not edible. So just be careful, you really want a honey berry. Please don't you know, eat berries off the other ones because some of them are really, really not good for you. Um, it's actually known as the blue honeysuckle and it flowers, now it does flower late winter to early spring. And the one thing I would say is because it flowers early, um, sometimes 
there's not a lot of insects around to pollinate it because we had a really cold spring, didn't we? So not a lot of insects around. So sometimes you might need to help pollinate it. Just get a little brush and brush the flowers. And they do work better as a pair. You, you would probably get a lot more fruit if you have a pair of these. But the taste, they are, to me, they are like a, a blueberry mixed with a blackberry, but there's even a little bit of raspberry in there. They are delicious. They are really, really high in antioxidants as well. It's a lovely, lovely plant, that one. So that's my, I've only, so I've only had that a few months, but I will get even more, uh, well, I hope I get more berries next year, but I did get a good handful this year. And then finally, um, as a child, my uncle used to grow tomatoes, but he had a big greenhouse. I remember these big tomato plants and I always thought, oh, I'd love to grow tomatoes. But again, normally you do need quite a lot of space. When you think of big tomato plants and grow bags and all, um, say, uh, staked up. But there are some really great varieties now that you can grow in pots and hanging baskets. Now, I grew this from seed. I've got about 20 of these growing right now. And this is actually called a mini bell. And it grows more like a cascading shrub. And I don't know if you can see here, but this already is covered with flowers and every one of those has got the potential to become a delicious and absolutely gorgeous tomato. So it doesn't need uh, you know, a big space, 20 centimetre pot. Maybe this, I'll be honest, this could probably do with a slightly bigger pot. But again, in a smaller garden, just have this in a hanging basket, have it in a pot and engroy, <laughs> engroy? Uh, enjoy growing your own tomatoes. Now, um, all I can say is, I would love each and every one of you to have a go at growing your own. And with the varieties that we've got available right now, it is easy. You don't need a small space. Even if you've got a really, really small space, there's something for you. And we have got so many great plants and, of course, shrubs and flowers and gardening products on the Ida World website. Uh, amazing prices. A lot of the um, plants that I've got here, I've bought from Garden Bargains. Uh, there's lots of um, videos online as well. So do have a look at the Ida World website. And uh, also, of course, uh, check out more videos on our YouTube channel as well. And subscribe and like us. We would love you to follow us. So... Thank you so much. I hope I've inspired some of you to start growing your own. And for me, gardening is for everybody. You don't need a big garden. You don't need an allotment. All you need is a small space. And even if you've got a balcony, make the most of it. And if you haven't got outside space, you can, of course, grow some great plants indoors as well. My name's Sean Ryan. I love gardening. I hope you really get into gardening too. And don't forget to like us and subscribe to the Ida World YouTube channel.